What's happening, everybody? It's Monkey Farm. We are back for another episode of Ark Survival Evolved here on the Pooping Evolved server. We're here at our little house with all of our favorite animals, and we have our new Wooly Harrelson Mammoth that uh, I introduced you guys last time. Uh, we do have another new family member to introduce you to as well. Uh, I didn't do a full video on this because it is an herbivore and basically it was easy to knock out, you know, handful of arrows. The other problem is it took about an hour and a half, maybe even more, of just standing there waiting for, uh, for it to tame. Herbivores are very slow. Uh, I wasn't I wasn't using uh, kibble, but I was using some of the citronella or citronella or something, whatever that's called over there, uh, from the farm plots. Um, but he is a, is it a he? Yeah, it's a she. She is a dodicorous. Uh, you can't see her tail. Let me bring her out for you. So she is the rock breaker. And this is going to be super awesome because I need to start collecting more materials. As you know, I've been... What the heck? How, how did that happen? I've been collecting some materials. I've got quite a bit of stone here. Quite a bit of wood here from Wooly Harrelson, the mammoth. Uh, and then I think I have some wood up there too. I've overflowed the first chest. Um, but we're going to be getting ready to start, you know, building some things on our a remote base as well. Um, so I really needed this and after after building this house pretty much all out of stone uh, I really made a good use of the dodicorous, uh, the community dodicari <laughs> uh, that we have here in the community. Uh, so uh, let's see I will show you her stats. She's got 5100 health, pretty good stamina, weight uh, she is level 155. She tamed out. She was a level 100, tamed out at 140 or 50, something like that. Um, but I've really got to pump up the weight. It's just really, for some reason, I mean, she's level 100, but the weight is just really horrible, actually. Um, so I've really got to pump that up if I want to be able to hold a lot of uh, stones that I break with her. Uh, so that is it for that introduction. So welcome. Oh, we need to name her. Let's see. Uh, what should it be? Let's see. Do Dode ball. Dode ball. <laughs> there we go. There is our newest family member, Dode ball. Come on, Dode Ball. Let's park you back over by the by the chests over here. That's where you'd like to hang out. All right. So uh, the other thing I wanted to do here, um, there's one thing I wanted to do with the house. I've been running down every time I get thirsty. I've been hopping off, hopping off the deck over here, running down to the water, refilling my water thing, and that is just. That's just too much work, let me tell you. And it's unacceptable <laughs> that, that I have to walk 20 feet over there. It's just too much work, let me tell you. So I wanted to, uh, I wanted to pipe up an irrigation system somehow from the lake up here. And I really liked, uh, there is a, what's going on? What is going on? There must be something outside the gate here. I don't like that sound. What is going on? Let's hop on Oompa Loompa over there. Oh man, scary stuff, scary stuff. And I can't see anything, it's super, oh, Blaine was killed by a T-Rex. Where is it? Um, that has happened once before. Let's see if I can maybe change the gamma. I don't know if higher or lower would look better or worse with this fog. This fog is crazy. Um, oh, yep, there it is. Okay. So. Okay, I think that was the one causing the problem. That's happened before. Uh, where we had, I had a whole little school of raptors in here trying to get through the fence and uh, I put 
if you can see, like, right under this gate, I put a wall up there, but it seems like they can still see through it. So maybe I should put a couple more walls under there. Maybe I can, like, block their view. But, yeah, it's super scary just uh, hanging out in the base right here. And it's close enough, like, where an animal somehow has sight of us. And the music goes off, and you don't know if you're getting attacked or what. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, I guess I've got some, some fixing up to do on the, uh, the behemoth gates outside there. Just to make our base a little bit more are less scary so as you can see there's these gates um, I wonder if I could still crawl through here let's see no looks like looks like I'm safe there um, let's go over to the one where I added the gate and see if there's ah this is the problem right here See, we can we can fit through this gate. That's <laughs> that's not good. We don't want that. Check us out. Hey, dudes. <laughs> all right, um, all right. So definitely, I need to add one more wall there. I guess is what I need to do. So um, I will do that, um, and then I'm gonna gather some things uh, for what we have to do to pipe up some irrigation canal up to here and uh, and pipe some water into the base so we can just have easy access to water and that'll also be good for the cooking pots here because as you uh, can see here we also need to refill these to use in the cooking pots and these drain water they leak so every time you need to use this I have to run down there to the lake refill the water skins so I can put them in the cooking pot and make dyes and coloring and all that um, so having a water source up here will be definitely definitely very useful um, the other thing I could do, if I wanted to, is have some um, some water tanks here that actually collect rainwater, but they don't really hold a lot. So I'd rather have, you know, a water pipe pumping water in from the lake. All right, people. So um, we're taking Dode Ball out, trying to uh, fill up some inventory with stone. And what we're doing is taking Willie Harrelson, having uh, her or him. Uh, I don't remember if Willie is a man or a woman, or a female or a male. Anyway, uh, we have Willie Harrelson, because Willie Harrelson's weight is about a thousand, and uh, we'll be able to transfer all the inventory that we want over from Dode Ball over here. Uh, that way, it's not such a waste of a trip to take Dode Ball out here. And uh, it also adds a little extra protection because Dode Ball, you know, probably isn't that big of a fighter. If we if we had something bad, you know, show up at our doorstep up here and try to kill us. So let's see how I can get out of here. Where's Wooly Harrelson? Where are you, Wooly Harrelson? There you are. All right. So we'll get out of here. Transfer. So right now, we'll, uh, Dode Ball can really only hold about five or six stacks of stone, which is pretty bad. But Willie Harrelson, on the other hand, can handle a lot more than that. Let's see. Um, he is about a little under 700 right now. So I uh, still have some work to pump up uh, Willie Harrelson's weight as well. But um, anyway, that's probably, that's probably enough stone for now. Let's get back into the base. All right, so we have a handful of things. I've bought a couple Ingrams as well. Um, it turns out I was looking through all my item drops from the beacons and stuff, and I had, uh, where were they? A bunch of stuff over here. Um, I had a bunch of these, um, these pipes already made. Like I have an intake, uh, or the vertical, I have the intake pipes, I have inclined, all that stuff. Um, the thing I'm not sure about because I haven't really looked into this too much, is should I start at the water and build up here, or should I start here, have it where I want it in the house, and then build backwards? And knowing Ark, my guess is that I should start here and build backwards, because, let's see, I need inclined, I need vertical. There's some vertical pipes right here. Um, and these are pretty cheap to make. If you look at the Ingrams, like each pipe costs about 10 stone, and really nothing else, so there's nothing like 
super special that you need. It's just, um, let's see, so vertical. We want it right in the middle of this window, like right near the wall kind of. So if the wall starts here, if we put it like right here, it's going to be sticking out of the floor a little bit. Um, but at least it's not way up here. Uh, I was messing around with some things, and it looks like the other option, like if I had piped it up from there, um, there's a good potential that I would end up with the pipe like tapped way up here. Um, so I think it's safer just to start from here and go backwards. Um, let's get in here and do a tap. Where is the tap? There we go. Oh, I do need some wood for that one. Which is fine. Uh, there we go. So let's hook a tap up to this real quick. And you'll see how it will look. Alright, so we'll have a tap out here. And we'll be able to just walk up here, uh, drink out of it, or uh, we can open the inventory. We can like drag our water jars over to it, let them fill up, and then bring them back. Um, so that's cool. It's not... It's not too, like, intrusive or anything. It's just right there, you know. And uh, it's at eye level and everything, so I think it's a good height. Uh, what I didn't want to do is have it way up here. Ideally, I would have it, like, right at the edge, you know, sticking out of the floor. Um, but to measure that out and make sure it works that way, I'm not sure. Um, you know, I, w I guess I would have to calculate exactly how I want it if, if I were to do that. So... Um, we're going to go backwards, and let's see, we need some incline, so that's number nine. And this actually comes out of the floor at a perfect spot, because we can do a straight shot. Well, not straight, it'll be inclined, then straight, then inclined, and straight. But what I mean by straight shot, it'll be a straight shot down to the water from here. In other words, we won't have to pipe it around any of these pillars or anything. It'll just be a perfect... Uh, so if I take, let's see, where are my diagonal ones? Ooh. Should I start the diagonal? No, I want it down at the ground before. All right, so we'll do that. Can I fit another diagonal one here? It looks like I can. Yes, it's still above water. I mean, above ground, so that's cool. We'll just keep switching back between inclined and flat, and hopefully this will, this will all fit in the house. I don't think I can put another inclined one here. I think that might get pushed into the ground. And if the pipes go in the ground, um, ooh, perfect. It doesn't actually go into the ground. It's right there. We should be able to hook a straight one off of it. Very nice. So this is turning out pretty good. Um, looks like I need to make a couple more pipes. So I'll be right back. All right, we're crafting those up while we're walking down here. And let's get an incline one. Is that, whoops. Okay, so we've got number nine. Is that still out of the ground? I believe it is. So this is, we're actually building this pretty much as close to the ground as we could possibly do it. So that's awesome. Uh, and we're almost there. I don't think, I think the incline, that one's not going to work. It's going to go straight into the, the ground. So now what we need is our intake, which I believe I already have another one. Yes, I do. Very nice. And does that go into the water? No. So we need to do an incline down first, and then we can take our intake. And that should pump right into the water here. Um, I don't know if there's a way to tell if it's working or not. Uh, the only way, I guess, would be to go up to the tap and see if there's water flowing out of it. I hear water, I think. Do I hear water? Yeah! Nice! Alright, let's take a drink. Ah, beautiful. So now what we can do, uh, we can just drag our water jar up there. Oh, it's already full, so no big deal. Um, and then hopefully, yeah, the sound, hopefully the sound stops a little bit. But uh, let's take, let's see, I've got a couple full ones here, but I have, I have an empty water skin. And we just drag that puppy right, where did it go? Right in here. And it fills up. Oh, beautiful. We have running water in the house. And the cool thing is, is that it doesn't actually get all over the floor. So we don't have to mop anything up or anything. Everything's cool. <laughs> we don't have to worry about it. So today was, um, 
Today was a stone day, I guess, because we have our new family member, uh, Dodeball, who gathers stone. And then we did stone irrigation pipes up to the house to get water straight up into the house so we don't have to do that long trek of 20 feet down into the water. <laughs> so anyway, I uh, hope you guys are enjoying the ARC videos. Please sh make sure you, uh, you thumb up the videos if you enjoy it and subscribe to uh, be notified of all future videos. And we will see you guys next time.